Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 75 of Starbound. Last episode, more base building. Started figuring out what the heck I'm doing for my door situation, because we do have to wall things off. Otherwise, the NPCs would be like, this is, this entire base is my base. No, we have to cordon it off a bit. Also, made some kind of like beam girder pillar thing I'm rejig in base, and I think I actually like the idea of using the light in the center of the beam but I don't like the idea of it going right through the floor to the next layer. What I'm thinking of is, like, two here, then you wouldn't see it down below, and then, like, you'd see, like, two here, but you wouldn't see it up top, you know what I mean? Like, kind of alternate, and if that's the case, that means I need to pick this stuff back up and plop it back down, which I can do if we give me just a moment. Where's my light metal? I'm running out of so much of this stuff, I, I like, I have to make more. <laughs> or go steal it. I think it was made out of tungsten or something, which is a little unfortunate. So, if I am to do that, I would say, let's put the beams over yonder, which means let me steal some walls. This, we're, we're, we're feeling this out, we're figuring this out as we go here. And then this would be iron beams, and then I put my light back. Also, I can fill in the boo-boo right here. So iron, 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 iron blocks. Iron blocks go here. Ship lights, wherever you may be. B, you go right there. I kind of like that better. Now, what kind of spacing am I going with? That's an important question. So my meta manipulator is five blocks at six, seven. Uh, I, honestly, I think it's a little easier because the edges aren't smooth with these to do this. So we'll do two, four, six, eight, ten. No, I'm still not there yet. Twelve. I think we're still on 12. We kind of got two, four, six, eight. Hold on, two. <laughs> sometimes, the, sometimes your mouse goes a little too fast. Oh, baby. Two, four, six, eight. God damn it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I say we go 14, which means I get rid of these two right here. So that'll be my marker. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. And... I can't put a beam there then. So what I guess I'll do, I'm using this as a marker. Maybe we'll make it down here. Rip that ship light, but that's again, this is okay. And this is just me kind of getting a feel for this to see if this is something we are or not going to like, or at least I am not going to like, I don't know. We'll see. So that was what, 14? So five and then 10. Okay, I can do this five, 10, and then 11, 12. 13, 14, so on the 13th block I get rid of it. So we'll replicate this pattern over there. Uh, you go here. I need another ship light. Do, do, do. Boom. Okay, see now this is adding a little splash of color to the base and I made up painting some things. So again, it's 5, 10, uh, I can't see, 10, 11, 12, and on the 13th and the 14th, okay, so it's this. It's the, 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 that's right, right where that ship light is, which is kind of surprising. That was completely unplanned, but that sort of worked out. So, let's get a ship light down here in just a second and see if this is a pattern that I am okay with. So I'm just randomly spacing this right now. I like it. So instead of the beam going all the way through, because then what's going to happen is up top here, we'll have more beams. And like I, I feel like when the pattern kind of completes itself, it'll look really cool. So this means up top here, I can do this layer. I think it's coming together. I'm okay with this. I've said that a lot. This is, this is actually a little bit better than I thought it would be. I do, however, need more iron blocks, which we can go steal or I can craft. I mean, honestly, I think I'll just craft them. It's just iron, and I have should have, should have tons of it. I believe I need to use the workbench here. Heavy stone iron block, and it uses what? One bar to 50. That's a pretty fair ratio, if you ask me. So there's an ass load to work with right off the get-go. 300, oh yeah, that's honestly with the beams and the things that I'm making, that might even be enough. We'll see. Light metal. All right, you, boom, and a light. Okay, I'm starving. Is my food going bad, by the way? Bread's still good, all that's still good. I believe I have to eat the bread first, and I can eat all of that. Nice, and it has a, a pretty even light distribution too. Like there's a slight spot I'd consider a little darker right here, but it's, it's like nothing. It's not noticeable enough to be a problem. So let's continue this. So that's 5. Oh, no, no, that's 10. Okay, let's do this again. 5, 10, 
And then, hold on, I want to make sure I did this right. 5, 10, 11, 12, and then 13 here, and 14. So this, it's a little close for comfort, which this we never had any kind of spacing in mind anyway. It's a little closer for comfort to this, so I kind of want to push that over, like this little, this little hatch over one. But anyway, let's finish the, the pillars before I start concerning myself about that. I think I'll end up like basing a lot of the building off of the, the pillar placement. Then again, what am I doing? No, 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 we're good, because this has an alternate. I'm not even following my own pattern. Ah, I'm sorry, window, but you have to go. Okay, so this doesn't need to be iron. I'm getting ahead of myself. Surprise, surprise. Okay, well, uh, okay, if, if, that, if that, yeah, sure, I'm not going to complain. I just forgot my own pattern for a second. <laughs> Derp. Thankfully, I can use the guy from up top to come down below. Boom, I'm sorry, windows, I'll swap you here in a second. Light metal, and this means I get a light right here. Fuck yeah, dude. This pattern's turning out pretty sweet. That's not how he placed lights, me. That's just not even how we do it. Yep. I, I feel like these will get moved. I'm not, I'm not, nah, not really convinced in their final placement. All right, yeah. Now, one problem we might have is where are the beams going here? Which means, oh no, it just means it has to go up a layer. So these will, I think, have to get relocated. I don't really like the, I, I don't like the idea of having the beams so close to this little hatch. And I mean, I can't even put my light here unless I do this. So this has to be pushed over. At least one, maybe two. So ship light here. What's this mean? This has... Hmm. <laughs> so I don't want to center it based off of that, do I? Do I? I mean, this, this was just a proof of concept. So tell you what. I'll pick it up and I'll pay no mind to it. That was a proof of concept to make sure the hatches looked cool. So I'm not I'm not even gonna concern myself with it. Alright. Uh next way dude look at it. it's getting all lit up and it's looking all fancy. I can put windows in like the centers here. Like I can line them up with the pillars. Yes. Yes. Alright, this shit's gotta go. Don't break the ringing stone. Do not harm the ringing stone. I have no idea how the um the pillars will interact here with the ringing stone. I hope it really doesn't cause a problem. Break the shit. Break the shit. Because I, I sort of want to put, like, a glass wall behind this so we can still see the backdrop and make this almost like a display, even. I mean, I, I might not even put a beam on this this layer right here if it, if it comes down to that. Sort of mix up a bit. And I know we've been building quite a bit lately, and I know that's a lot of people's things, and it's also not a lot of people's things. Some people will nerd rage about it. I think I will mix in a little bit of questing here sooner rather than later. Maybe even go to the ship and build a touch, because we did just upgrade our ship. What was it, the Eagle License or something? I believe our ship is as, as big as it's going to get for the rest of the run. I don't think there's any other upgrades. But maybe we'll maybe we'll change some of the ship and continue some of the main quests. Which, why don't I just set that as my active? Because it's, it's weird not being my active. So we've already examined all the Apex stuff. Essentially, we, we're, we're ready to go do that instance area thingy. There's, what, three more racial quests? And I'm assuming there might be a handful more after that. There's also all the side quests that these people that were finding along the way are giving me. So there's, there's a good, good, bit, good bit of quests that I gotta get done. That is for sure. However, there's also a good bit of... Uh, <laughs> a good bit of walls that I gotta be making here. And I gotta get on that shit. Alright. This beam is going to end up going, like, right around here. Can't say I'm a fan of that yet. So, you know what? Let's just get these bad boys placed down. Uh, they're kind of like a guideline, light, metal, mm -hmm. up to here, alright, so, uh, is that going to be enough? I should be able to count from here, so that's going to be 5, that's 10, 11, 12, so this is 13, so I get rid of this, and that does mean the beam will go through. Uh, the pattern won't hold true on this layer, which I don't know if that'll even look that bad. Because what if I do this before sake of the pattern a touch? Also, I do know that this is a little bit off, and then this needs to go. I noticed that earlier, and I think that wall needs to get, yeah, that wall needs to go bye-bye. So that looks a wee bit better. Anyway, say we do this. Where are the walls? Okay, like that. Now that doesn't look half bad. That doesn't look half bad at all. 
Uh, how many glass windows do I have to work with? Glass windows, glass windows, glass blocks, whatever. This whole thing, I just make glass. We pray to God that this never breaks. Because if this ringing stone breaks, I'm going to cry. I'll have to put some other decorative item here. Nothing will ever, nothing will ever uh, compare to this thing. But there you go. That's sort of just like a neat little pit stop. I could even, maybe, with platforms, and I have to be super careful about this. Oh, I need to make more. Maybe I have, like, two or three blocks to jump with. I could make, like, a little arc over top of it, perhaps? Let's see. Let's see about that. Not that one. Uh, platform, platform, platform. We'll just type in plat. Alien door. No. Platform, platform, pressurized. These are pressurized, right? I think they're pressurized. Yeah, it's one that uses Durasteel. Let's make you a dirt steel bar. So it's only 10 per craft. Which kind of stinks. That's not a very good ratio at all. This place is coming together, I think, ever since we started doing the, 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 the beams. So I guess I'll start here, if it'll let me. And I do not want to accidentally swing and like break or, or click. So there you go. Now I can just straight up walk across. If I paint... Can I make you like a really dark? Really? That's that's as dark as you're gonna get? I mean, that, that's almost gray. Which. It, it's not half bad, it sort of blends in. Okay, or all of that. I didn't think the blue was very fitting, that blue tinge that it has. Yeah! <laughs> that's, that's, that's neat. So. If that holds true, then this will throw the pattern off a bit, unless I just change the pattern in the center of the house. And I continue it for the remainder. I'm getting all artsy fartsy and I don't like it. It's weird. It feels weird. What this means then would be I need a lot of these walls, those markers to get this started. So from here we have the usual, right? So we have 5, 10, and then 12 on the 13th block. So we'll have. I, I gotta clear up the top layer. I gotta clear up the top layer. And we're almost out of the mountain. So I don't need to go much further over. I may end up just placing some of these geode stones that I have tons of out there to kind of artificially increase the size of the mountain. I don't want my house to be exposed to the fire, even though it's made out of silver blocks and nothing should happen. I still really don't want my house exposed to that. I don't want like when the door is opened. I, I don't want the uh, that fire to come through. Uh, it's broken wooden things in the past. It's broken that house that we have on this planet. So I don't want to have, I don't know, some kind of crafting station that's flammable or... Some kind of decorative item we have at a, a colonist room, and they let fire through because they'll open doors. They'll interact with doors, and it'll be super annoying. That's the last thing I want to deal with is them setting my house on fire, <laughs> or at least causing problems and breaking the items, and I have to replace them. Hey, look! Somebody has added me to their friends list because Steam is a butt and did not turn off like I told it to. Cool. Let me just turn Steam off. I hate you, Steam. Sometimes I honest and for truly. Hate Steam. I turn that friend. I turn. Uh, I turn Steam off so I don't get like notifications when I play games. And sometimes it just straight up reactivates itself. It's really, really annoying. Really annoying. But uh, there we go. Hmm. How many of these walls do I have? Light. Ooh. I really don't have many to be using as markers here. And what I mean by markers is I want to use them to count. Shoot. How much tungsten do I actually have? Tungsten, tungsten, tungsten. Tungsten, it's like triangular shape. Tungsten ore. Why don't I smelt it down? I know I can go buy... Oh, is there a wall missing behind this? There is. <laughs> I know I can go um, break down those blocks, but I wonder if just crafting them would be, would be better. I don't know if it's going to make me like 50 at a time, which would, which would be better than breaking them all up. So that's a shitload of tungsten right there. Uh, let's see. Light, light, light metal. Light metal. Yeah, it's 50 per craft and what, one bar per? Okay. It's, it's, it's likely a little bit better to just craft them myself than go dig them. We have to fix a boo-boo right there. That's better. I don't know how I didn't notice that, but it's fixed. It's fixed. And this means I don't feel bad at all about zipping through here and using those as markers. Whoosh! I, I, I did just, uh, quite literally burn through everything I just crafted, but, um... That's why I crafted it, no? Yes. Yes. See. All them walls. That should be enough. Alrighty. So from this, 
I, I gotta get the uh, I gotta get this going. So five, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, this is this is the thirteenth block. I I clicked ahead a little bit by one block. So here we get our iron beams, and that's where my ship light will go. And then that means down on this layer we have another set, and then we'll continue the pattern from that point on. This is going to be like the oddball. This sort of threw it off a little bit, but I can still work with it pretty easily. Hey, now we have dogs going crazy. It is, it is, it is interruptions the episodes. The episodes? The episode. People like to interrupt me when I record. Even though I wait till like the middle of the night. They just, they just want to fuck with me. Alright, rice cakes did, did not do anything. Pineapple jam. Wow, surprisingly filling considering... Did I just dupe it or something stupid? I just used it. Unless it's got multiple uses. Which I, I think I think it just duped itself. I'm pretty sure it's a bug. But, uh... That filled me up quite a bit for just a pineapple and some sugar. I'm not even going to complain. I, I'm surprised it filled me up as much as it did with as little as it cost to make, but damn. But yeah, I think that's a bug where you use a food item and nothing happens. Like, you get the effect, but nothing happens to the item. Uh, I'm pretty sure it just duped. I don't know how I did it, but <laughs> but, but it's a thing. and I'm, I won't, like, go out of my way to do it. I, I just clicked with the item. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do wrong? I just clicked the damn item, man. I didn't, I didn't try to break the game. It broke itself. Uh, I got a uh, not a lot left before we're outside. Um, let's make this layer. We have another rigging stone to incorporate into the base, which will likely be throwing the pattern off a bit more. But that's that's part of the fun here, building with these rigging stones in mind. I think. I won't break it. I don't know if placing over it will break it or something stupid. That would that would that would make me angry. So this line right here, yes, I think that's correct. That is iron. All your iron are belong to me. Iron, 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 iron. Here you go. Nice ship light, ship light, ship light. Nice. I need to pixel print some more of those. Okie doke. Oh, don't break, don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. Manipulator too big. Manipulator too strong. I'm holding shift. I'm holding shift. I <laughs> That's the last thing I want to do, man. Now, how do we incorporate this in? Because I did something silly like that. Hmm. Also, how far? How much further do we want to go? This is this is a rather large colony. It's gonna really the amount of colonists that we get in here dictates how big this place will end up being. We can always expand upon it later. Uh, how far over do we want to go? Just maybe like. Maybe replicate what's on this left. Use this as a center point of my base. I mean, I might even break that ringing stone and just keep this one, one, one single one here. So if that's the current plan, then this ends up meaning I make one more pillar on this layer, or two more pillars, and then an airlock. So let's count here. Ah, uh, shit. Let's let's not count just yet. Give her the geodes. Let's give her the geodes so I can put the light metal so that's easier for me to count because the contrast between the dark lines on. Geode stone and light metal. The, 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 there's a, there's a world of difference. I, I can't see Jack Dibley squat, looking at this light metal stuff, or looking at this geode stuff versus the light metal. Uh, light metal, light metal, light metal. <laughs> Why are you making different stacks in my inventory? For shame! How dare you! How dare you! I didn't say you could do that. All right, let's let's do some counting here. And hmm. Might be easier to count from a different layer because this is this is gonna be even further. This is what five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six because of the spacing. So five, ten, fifteen, right there, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seventh block is broken. That's the iron pillar layer. It's because we had to skip a little space. With the uh, that, G that uh, rigging stone in the center, I can do that. That's easy enough. Attempting to make things mm, sorta, kinda symmetrical in a way, and I, I believe what I'll end up doing is going through with the fancy geode crystals and putting them on the outside of the house. I mean, I can dig through the wall and sort of put patches there to make it look fancy. Because yes, I've I've built into this place, and I obviously have broken quite a few. <laughs> Quite a few of them, and I think they took away from the overall aesthetic, so I want to swap that out a bit. I think that's an okay decision. Well, if we have this, then that means we have one more, and that's 26. We can do the bottom layer 
Why don't I work on the top layer, because I don't have a ringing stone that I have to consider. I'm pretty sure that ringing stone is just going to be broken, and we'll keep one in the center of base. To, to me, that's sort of okay. I feel like if I incorporate another one, eh, it's going to look a little too weird for my taste, and I might not even like it. As much as I like these ringing stones. As much as I like them. Trust me, I like them. All them pixels. All them pixels. Look at that ringing stone with like a star in the center. It's so cool looking. They're so awesome. I'm glad I decided to build here. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so this layer is normal, and it has every 13, but I think the count starts from that pillar down below, yes. And this will be, what, the second to the last pillar that I need to make up top, anyway? I, I, I believe? So many geode crystals! They're so pretty looking, they're such a perfect color of green, too. I love it. Look at that green, it's, it's so vibrant and pretty. Uh, stop making separate stacks. Oh, okay, I did make separate stacks. Good. No, I don't want the mirror blocks. I don't want your damn mirror blocks. Get out of here. And that's not far enough, right? That's, that's 5, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I guess that is far enough. So then you are iron. And I'll use that as my guide. I think that's correct. He thinks that's correct. Okay, get the hell out of here, geode stones. I still think geodude every time I say geodude stone. It's so weird. It's so weird. I mean, it's the only ever time you ever... It's, it's, like, it's like the only time I ever hear the word geode. No one ever talks about geodes and like the rocks and whatnot. It's just... Just geodes and geodude. <laughs> Damn you, Pokemon. You're so engraved into my brain. You're killing me. You're killing me. Uh, da -da -da. Iron, iron, iron. And... That's my last ship light, right? Yep. So, let's see, we have this one, and then that's the, ne the next one's the last one. Let's make ourselves a handful of ship lights. Ship light, ship light, ship light, ship light, ship light. I'll find you one of these days, buddy. Hello, ship light. Oh, shit. I need some pixels. <laughs> it's about time we break one of our voxels down and or go smack things in the head. Because I'm running out of straight-up pixels to create things. This is bad news bears. I know I have the pixels, but, uh... I gotta get the pixels. And this will be the last thing we need to clear out. And then two after the iron door, and then the airlock. Which, I have to print another one of those, too. <laughs> I need all the pixels I can get, yeah. Break all the pixel containers. Uh, that's, that's important to me right now. Absolutely. freaking lootly. Absolutely. freaking lootly. I can't wait to start filling this with colonists. I can be doing that right now, but I sort of want to get the basics down. Once I put the colonists down, one, they're going to get in the way. The two, they're going to open doors, and that's sort of getting in the way anyway. Three, they will eventually start giving me stupid quests like, hey, can you please go locate a handful of objects of this type and make me a building of this type? And those quests, I think, while generally easy, are also going to be super annoying because they're specifically requesting that I make a house or a room, like something that could be considered a home, with, a, with an object type that clearly I didn't want to put in here. I mean, I don't know, I'm, I might end up abandoning those quests just because I don't feel like incorporating crap into the home versus like what I have now. Uh, I, uh, mainly I'm interested in just the stupid presents they're going to give me regardless of me doing quests or not, but still. Like if, I, if I get one of those quests, um, yeah, that's, that's something I have to keep in... Uh, keep in consideration uh, the, the want like houses made to be like hey I want five avian items in this house usually it's like two or three but like, I want five avian, a avian items in this house and you're like I don't have any av avian items in this house at all why do you want me to make avian items and then well then you just sit on top of that quest doing nothing which I don't really want to do meh meh they're, they're, they're needy they're needy colonists I mean they have a free home and they're going to beg and grovel for me to do stupid stuff like that. Why did it switch over to silver? Stupid game. Stupid, stupid game. Uh, Alright, let's see. 5, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, 14. That is my iron. And we are all but done. Because two blocks after this, right, is the airlock. And that's the way out. Yes. Two blocks after that's the airlock, and I... Do I have the other airlock, or no? Were they smaller? No, they're large airlocks. I, pl I placed it up top. Yeah. Let's un... Let's, let's break down one of my 10k voxels. Crack that. So that gives me 10,000 pixels back, but I lose a voxel. That's how that works. Airlock. 
It was a large airlock. Yep. It's 140 pixels right there, aka quite a few crops. So this is this is why I'm glad I farmed. I, I got the money at least to work with. Some ship lights so I can see. Um, so two blocks after. Large airlock. L right there. Let's put our backdrop down. And voila, we have the... Let's open this so I can see. This is... It's the beginnings. It's the beginnings of a... It's the beginnings of a fancy base. It's coming together. It, it only took... Oh, the wrong block. It only took so long, but it's turning into something else. Something special. And now I need to make, like, a way out. Which will be fun in its own right, because we have a mountain here. <laughs> I, I don't know. I do not know. But guys, it does look like it is time to ramp the episode up here already. Episode 75. Our house is coming together. That ringing stone I might just get rid of. I sort of like the idea of this really fancy looking centered one. And every time I run by, it's awesome. I trigger it. Every single time I go by. Boom. Okay, for some reason, that one wasn't working. Here, trigger. 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 But you, when, I, when I run by, it triggers the ringing stone. And that's really freaking neat. Yeah, we have this one up here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll keep this one. We'll 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 see. It's also just a change. But thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.